Hi, this is Colin with Maker Farm. In this video, we're going to show you the new hexagon um, hot end. We're going to show you how to put it together and uh, kind of how to uh, get it ready to install in your printer. Um, basically, what you're going to do, it's going to come for the most part pre-assembled. Um, the first thing we want to do when we get it out is we're going to make sure that brass nozzle is nice and tight on there. So if you just get some tools, make sure that is tight. The next thing we're going to do is that the hexagon will come with a small wrench and that is going to hook right on that um, in between the heater portion and the cooling fins. We're going to use it to tighten this and make sure that is tight. If that's not tight and the nozzle is not tight, your hot end will um, jam and it's not a very fun thing. After that, um, it's going to come with some set screws and a little Allen wrench. You can go ahead and get a, put a set screw in there and then get your ceramic heater. Now if you notice on the hot end there's one side with a hole for our thermistor right there and the other side does not have a hole. I always take my heater and I install it in the side that has the hole for the um, thermistor. Let me go grab that real quick. Yeah, no, actually, there's already one in the kit. Okay. So all we need to do is grab our heater and put it put it in so that the wires are hanging out the same side where it has the hole for the thermistor right there, okay? So then I center up that heater and I'm just going to gently tighten down that set screw. If you tighten down the set screw too much, you're going to deform the heater and you will never get it out. Okay, now we're gonna get our thermistor. Um, the thermistor will have a glass bead at the end and it'll have these white um, insulators. That's gonna be your high temperature sleeving. You're going to want to pull those up and make sure those are contacting your glass bead, okay? Then what we want to do is I'm going to take the thermistor and I'm just going to put it in that hole right there and just hold it up tight against it. Then I'm going to get my capped on tape. And find the end here. And then I'm just going to wrap cap on tape on all those wires. I usually bring it up a little ways and cut it off. And then I like to get a zip tie and just zip tie it around the end of that cap on tape so it doesn't come loose at all. cut it off. Then what I like to do is then loosen that set screw a little bit, push the heater and the thermistor a little bit farther in just so that we know it's not going to come loose. And that's all we're doing to keep that thermistor in there. Okay, so there it is fully assembled with our thermistor and our ceramic heater. Um, then you'll also come with an aluminum mount. This will be to slide in here and this will go underneath our um, extruder when we get that extruder out. Let's see. Grab that. And it also have a fan, so here's my hot end mount. Here's my extruder and they are going to line up just like that. And then depending on which extruder you use, it may be a little bit different. But. Okay, and then what we also have, flip that around, is you're going to have a fan that comes also with your hot end. Um, the hexagon always needs the fan to be running. 
if you get the extruder from Maker Farm, um, there are two holes right there where you can mount your fan. And if you have, if you purchase this with a kit, um, the kit will have the bolts to use to mount that hardware on there also. So it'll just use some M3 bolts. And I'll just tighten them up a little bit here and then I'll show you exactly where that is. Okay, so I'm going to tighten you down all the way. I'm going to probably put that, I would normally have that wire coming out this other side. But there you can see the, the hexagon hot end with the extruder and also have your fan there. It's usually a good idea um, once you get this set up to print out some sort of fan shroud so that you're cooling just this top portion where the metal fins are. We don't really want to cool the bottom, um, but we can do that later. So that is all you need to do um, to set up your hexagon hot end. Um, usually if you purchased a kit, it'll come with an additional wire that we can use to solder on because this wire is pretty short. You can go ahead and use your soldering iron to solder that on. And then depending on how you're going to be using the fan, um, you can just basically plug it in directly to your power supply. And I'll show you more about that um, in some of the ramps videos for some of the other kits. So if you have any questions, uh, you can go ahead and contact us. Um, otherwise, we'll see you on the next video.